Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I bumped the camera. The beer must be getting to me. Oh no. <laughs> no. Okay, I, I'm ready to fold back my last layer almost. See, now I, t I just took this layer and I folded it back over the other layers I already had resined up. Just use my squeegee to get it laying flat. And there is plenty of resin right there. But we uh, we want enough to soak up. We want this really to wick. So all that resin I put on there earlier in between all them layers is still there. We don't want to work it up yet. Okay, there's a bunch of resin down here. But if we get this cloth mostly wet from the bottom, it won't trap any air. You know what I mean? And that's the problem I was having when I put that second layer over the top and then dousing it with resin like this. Well, it's like putting a lid on a bottle almost. It, just, it traps that air in there and it's really hard to work it out. It don't just come but right back through the cloth once it's saturated. You know what I mean? That's why I had so many bubbles on my fuselage. I should have did it like this. Just really layer on the cloth or on the resin, okay? Now, I just take this, fold it back. See that cloth over there? I didn't put no resin on it, okay? I'm just going to now, I'm going to take this cloth here. I'm just going to work it. Work it, let it soak, and just let it up. Uh, uh, suck all that resin up from way down deep, man. You know, just wick and be totally saturated without near the air bubbles. And this cloth is so thick, man. Once you put douse resin on it, air bubbles just won't come right back through. But uh, if I figure if them resin's coming from the same place the air is, it's just going to push it all up, you know? And uh, I didn't even work that anymore, and I did that, and not a one air bubble, you know. Now granted, I probably have to go back and put some resin here and there, but that's just a way to help keep the air bubbles out of your mold, you know. I'd still go with the heavy surface coat, and you know, the way I did it, it's the most time-consuming way. But it says it's probably the best way. It just takes so long. And it's a long old layups, man. And you just can't stop. Every four hours, you gotta be there. You know, and it's just, uh, you gotta do the same thing with the white resin. But it don't take as many coats. You see, so I can start laying up. A, remember where I could start, uh, laying up a part at noon or a mold and uh, have it finished before I went to bed. Remember that was my always my mark. I had to start by noon or it was too late. Then I was up till three or four in the morning. You know. So you just gotta plan this stuff. Do you just want to make yourself one, two molds, you know, use that cheap white resin. That's what it's made for, it's making molds, but I just had a tough time with them corners wanting to chip out. And I, you know, these are Paul's molds, and, and I want them to last for a long time, you know. He's flipping the dime on this. You know, and I talk a lot about getting me one flying, but, you know, uh, we got one to build for Paul, too. <laughs> But that's no big deal. We, you know, the prototype, we want to go out and fly. You know, we got to go fly that prototype. That's just all there is to it. That first one. We're just going to let that soak into that cloth for a little bit and take me a little break. So, you know, it don't take that long to lay all this cloth on. I started it at noon. It's 
12.25 now. You know? So, but it's just getting to that point. You know, then I also found all that wing over there. Man, you can just use your hand, you know, your gloves are all messed up anyway. You know, to get them small spots. Around this edge, you can just hear the bubbles popping. Because you know that cloth is full of air, you know, it's got to be full of something. Then when it, 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 when it fills up with resin, it's got to release whatever it's filled up with. You know, it's got to be just air. So that's where them bubbles are coming from. And that's really why, you know, get that cloth saturated. Saturate as, it, as you can and then work that resin up in your last layer. That seems to be the key. You know, now back to them surface coats. How much time we got left? Three minutes. Okay. You know, uh, someone asked me, well, why don't I put some filler in my surface coat so I don't have to put as many coats? Well, there again, you're, you're adding filler to that epoxy, and that's what makes it weak. That's what makes them corners want to chip. corners nice and square you know nice and square it's razor sharp and after I pull 20 parts I still want them razor sharp with no bondo you know what I mean and it can be done you just gotta take the time to do it right yeah. but like I said if you only plan on pulling one two you know building one for yourself Use that cheaper resin, that stuff's fine. No faster. Anything except polyester. Do not use polyester. That stuff they sell in the auto parts store, that Evercoat, that is polyester. That stuff will shrink and warp and twist and You'll be able to get one part out of it, and a week later you'll go back in your in your uh, and your uh, parts are are uh, twisted. You know, it's uh, I don't use polyester. I don't like it. I don't like the odor. The fumes alone will kill you. Some guy was asking me about that not too long ago. You know that stuff's cheap, man. You can get that stuff in the auto parts store, $30 a gallon, you know, and uh, uh, Associated Industries even sells a vinyl ester, but I don't, you know, I just, I'm hooked on epoxy and, and no one's going to talk me out of it, you know, just like the results. But we're almost out of time, people. Thanks for tuning in. Happy birthday, Carrie. We're going to be partying all day. And uh, that's it for today. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get my shop cleaned up. And then we'll take me a break, maybe even a little nappy poo. So, <laughs> till later, we're going to get started on them elevators and rudder. So, we'll see you back in the shop. Same Bob time. Same Bob station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is a drama-free zone.